That bitch thought she had one. What? I ain't going. I mean. Took the gun, put it to her head, started blowing. Switch. This time the media gonna have more to speak about. What's that word, chat? We got court today. You feel me? Hopefully this go good for a nigga. Go to the hood, smoke one. And they ask the Carly, man. Leon after that. Yo. Here. What up though? Where you at? I'm by the HQ. I just pulled off from that. I'm about to come scoop you. Where you at? Meet me over there. I'll be in the back by the garage. Push up and uh, jump in with me. We're going to go to the hood and smoke. Yeah. Hey, Chad, I just want to say this, right? And this is for all the people that say, ain't nothing to do in here. You feel me? Ain't nothing to do with sell drugs, take a nigga chain, rob niggas, and shoot. I just want, I just want you to know this. Don't watch me. Don't watch my RP and think that's all you can do. We need lawyers. We need judges. We need an ice cream truck. We need prosecutors. You could do all this shit, bro. So don't come on this and try to be a nine block leader and then say ain't nothing to do but be on some game. Nigga, this is what you wanted to do, nigga. You could do whatever you want to do. And it's too much other good shit we need. Niggas don't try to fill in no gaps, bro. They just come do some shit. And they can't do it as good as some other niggas and they complain. All right, dude, that's because you ain't trying to do shit. You ain't applying yourself in no type of way, bro. Right now, I can do anything I want to, bro. I could throw a concert. I could be a cop. I could be a lawyer. I could be a judge. I could be a prosecutor. I could be a. I could go up and be a construction worker. I could go up north and do tours up north and tell what different type of trees, how these mountains form. Anything, bro. Your mind just can't be little and you can't watch me and think that, all right, this is what I got to do to be turned. No. That ain't how this go. That is not how this go bro god damn where that dropped it i'm about to hop in with you big bro big bro what's that dick this is crazy my head, gang. this is crazy no you gonna give me this, this crazy how about look listen gang hold it down nigga. hold it down <laughs> listen, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, gang, this your right here, you hear me? Get the f out of here, you got the stars in this Come on, now. Listen, listen, I told, hey, hold on real quick. Let me, let me, hold on, just wait two seconds. Get the f out of here, bro. Bro, he never just pull up Rafe around this Bro, merch. Hey, no, I ain't get my carny on his merch. Nigga, you still ain't give me right. Nigga, I told you. Hey. Text me your sizes, brother. You ain't never text me your sizes. Lame ass, lying ass nigga. Bro, you know my sizes, gang. Text them to me, bro. I got you. Hey, so look. Hey, I'm in the stoke crack shop. But he... Hey, 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 I had to put my own flavor on there, though, brother. You hear me? Man, you ain't put your own flavor on there, nigga. What you talking about? Nigga, you thought I forgot. Nigga. Yeah, oh, yeah, you got the brains here. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Come on, now. Hold up. Let me get my tweet. That's what you talking about. Yeah. Bro, for real. Come on, now. Come on, we in there. Let's spark up before court, though, man. I got to put some shit up. Well, I'm riding around with over there. A B on me. Over you know what? Found the money. You know niggas found the money watch? Oh, shit. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't gonna lie, 1017, no bed coming clutch, nigga. Them niggas did. I heard them niggas did put it out there for the whole city to get, nigga. No fam, they looked out. They did bless the city. You gotta show me where that at, bro. I gotta know where they can hit that. That's just blunt, dog. Me, this is not the way. Me, you would have never found it, gang. You gotta ride me past that. Something. 243, hold on. Hey, I was just telling niggas you could be whatever you put your mind to with this. You hear me? 243, 243. Yeah, you hear me though, gang? Yeah, you I was just telling yeah, niggas, yeah, man, you, you come to Nigga, you go to the peel box, sit behind the counter. Listen, bro, if I was an EMS, this is what I'd do. Jump in the whip right quick. You know what's so crazy? With me, though, hold on, pull this car. Let me pull something out. 
You know what's so crazy for me? It's lame ass, ham ass niggas going around. All they do, all we do is this bitch to shoot. Did nobody tell your stupid dumb ass to be a gang leader? You came in this bitch and wanted to be a gang leader over there. Yeah, you, you come in this bitch, eat, be anybody you want to be. You could have been a realtor. You could have been a, a motherfucking a doctor. You could have been this. Let me tell you Third. how I would have played Bitch, Bill you Bucks. ain't had to go jump in the street and be a street nigga. Nigga went to nigga, 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 get ass hit up and be complaining. Nigga act like a motherfucker put a gun stay head, made him go to the black market mall. Them hey, you, you chose to be a motherfucking gang leader. That's on your dumb ass. Hey, listen, you let me. What it is, niggas don't be with the wave no more, gang, so they be sick. Dang. In no real life, I mean, I mean, in a dream, street shit is limited, bro. That's all you can do. That's all niggas really do. Listen, and this and, only shows it. Look, you know what's so crazy? This only shows us that a nigga ain't really from that way. Because if you from the hood, what the fuck is it to do? Nothing. We go trap, we go sell drugs, we go play we go basketball, scale, you go try to get some paint, and you go get on niggas' ass. Regular, and we go get on niggas' ass. That's regular hood shit. That's how I and, do it. And the whole, point, that way. the whole point of Grizzly World is to take niggas out of doing it for real and just do it in here, gang. Man, listen, we've been saying this for three years. Just do it in brother. here. These niggas still ain't... We've been saying this for three years. These niggas still ain't get the picture, man. You heard me? No effects. On, and man. look, this is how I would have played it. I would have came P.O. Box worker, right? I would have locked that door that everybody be running through. You got to go talk to somebody at the front desk. Put a nigga at the yeah. front desk. It's so much fire shit a nigga can come and just don't want to do it. Don't think to do it. I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm going to keep it a bug with you, brother. I don't like how motherfuckers be trying to shit on you, gay. You hear me? Like I tell you every time, nigga, what we do when we get on the phone? I tell your ass, nigga. I appreciate everything, nigga. Anybody in this bitch, nigga, they need to be thanking you, nigga. For sure, nigga. You made a way for niggas, gang. So all, all that right. extra cornball ass shit, nigga. Niggas to say that shit. You hear that's from real sh Detroit street, nigga, gang, nigga. Come on, I'm man. giving you, you know your know flowers, nigga. You know I know what's going Here on, me. man. Come on now. For sure. I'm I giving appreciate you your that flowers, though. nigga. You my motherfucking brother, nigga. Fuck with these lame ass niggas be talking about these niggas don't be on shit or knowing shit, gang. No, I That's why I be knowing the nigga don't even be from that way. No, but let me put this shit in the car though. Pull up real quick, brother. Come on. A nigga go sit behind the desk at P.O. Box and say, listen, ain't no more just running in there, running back there. Everybody ain't even supposed to go back there. Like, when you go to the hospital, you can't just go to the back. You feel me? So first of all, them doors is locked. Second of all, a nigga stand in his hospital bed until his bag come off. You can get visitors. You can get everything. Shit could just be way more lit. The only problem is I can't do everything. So all the cool shit I be thinking about, I can't do all of it. Somebody else got to have a brain too. Fuck around these niggas, man. Pull up to the club so I got my little question say, I'm going to that bitch play. Let me go put some gas in this bitch. You got a suit? Yeah. I was saying, look, at pill box, look, you know, at hospitals, you really can't just run to the back like that, bro. Motherfuckers need to check in. Niggas that's on bags need to sit in the hospital bed so they get off their bed. They get visitors. H hospital feed them. You feel me? Yeah. These niggas just be goofy, gang. I'm going to keep it a butt. Doing anything, bro. It's so much shit you can do in this bitch. I know I can run around this bitch and be what I want. This is what I want. This is my rollie. This is what I love to do. Shit. What? You too. I know I can cut real estate. I know I can cut EMS. I know I can cut that. You know? Fuck all that, though. He riding out in these trenches. This is where it's at. No hat. Throw me some cheese. I'm fucked up. I got $200. You got to go check. You got to go check the crib, too. But I put a bag in that bitch. Told you I just clinked. I just clinked over it. Uh, Six, seven hundred K and it's a bag and what's it called? I ain't gonna lie, Sage been looking out. I'm gonna keep it a bug with you. Sage been going dumb at the burger shot game. I've been picking up a bag from that bitch every other day now. Every since every since you feel me? Every since Seymour ain't been around, she's been able to focus. <laughs> Seymour was fucking her? What? Doggy style. Fuck you so I ain't never know that. Why she be friend bro off on the block then? Doggy style, man. They the doggy stylers. How you ain't knew that? Yeah. Hey, I'm sick. I ain't been missing though, brother. I've been getting right. Look at the what, nigga? I ain't gonna lie. No, hey, look. You can't trail with this. I ain't missed it, brother. You can't trail with this. Oh, me. And I put the Michigan place on the back of that bitch for you. Fuck the tough out. You can't heat rock. Come on, nut. You can't oh. pure Michigan. Hey, I'm crying, dude. What up, though? Ready, nip you? Don't ever call me nephew, boy. Yeah, I'm ready, nigga. You ready to fry, dumbass. 
All right, we'll meet y'all at the courthouse. Biatch. Come on, bro. Get your stupid ass in the car. He begging to go to Man, the soldier store and shit. Hey, Knox, where you at, gang? How Knox ain't a part of this case? <laughs> See, I can't hear you, Knox. Nah. I never was hey, jail on a nigga, but damn. Man. Hey, you don't. <laughs> hey, why they put that? Listen, though. Why they put that body on us, though? Bro, they put Lucci on me all type of shit, bro. That's what I'm saying, gang. Motherfuckers wrong as hell. You know, we ain't saying shit, though. Damn. No, nah, for real. Ain't no. Bro, I ain't gonna wrong lie. As fuck. We beat this shit. I'm dropping Rolls Royce Spectre. You hear me? You ain't coming that. We beat this bitch. I'm dropping Spectre. I'm telling you. What's the? I, I need to. I need to know the clothes. I'm trying to drop. Oh shit, my bad. Damn, I'm bro. Trying them. I'm trying to drop years, gang. I'm trying to drop Spectre, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I gotta come through years. That bitch fully electric, bitch. The one. Hey, go to Torso 321. It pants 156. He's talking about what's about what time the court case. That bitch right now. That bitch right now, old buddy. That bitch right now, yeah. You gotta pull up. You have your shirt unbuttoned in court? That bitch right now, yeah. You gotta pull up. Bro, so you think he better to pull up or you think they go bitch pressing? I ain't gonna lie, I think you good, dog. Nah. They ain't really, you know. Shit, I ain't the nigga that yeah. ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, dog, what the fuck? On that bitch, White Richard. So you coming that bitch with the dress shoes on or the designer? Designer. I ain't gonna lie, he need all white Richard, like all white. I don't know what the fuck this bullshit ass casing on this bitch is. You know I can, you know I can come that, though. We can get that. Man, look, get a bunch of shit. We need, come on now. We get a bunch of the shit, The watches? Bro. I ain't know you weren't the watches. I'm gonna tell bro right now. Nigga, we from the city. We watch niggas. Fuck you talking about? Have him come playing yellow. Have him come playing yellow Prezi around this bitch. Fuck you. Say here. that. Say that. I might get a couple of those bitches on me. Rose gold, all that. We need them. He come that bitch with that olive dial. He in there. The olive dial. Oh my god! I know exactly which one you talking about. That bitch the one. Come on now. You talking about off that yellow gold Prezi? Come on. Yeah, off that rose yeah. bitch. Yeah. You talking about buffs on? Whoever lines you up, shoot the two. We fucking him up. Are you hear me? What'd you say, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. I'm gonna be wrong, dog. I say, whoever lines you up, we fucking him up, gay. You rock as fuck, gay. We did her bag of hell. Say, he pushed my shit back. <laughs> what? They got your size, boy. This hell, man. <laughs> Get the fuck out. You got me fucked up, <laughs> He gave you the Everybody ice pick sideburns. You asked for the ice pick sideburns, didn't you? Get the fuck up. You know I'm still be getting my sides, Tavery. Yeah, I man. got to. What you in there doing, man? Put some shoes on and come on, nigga. I might just come like this, gay. Why you rushing motherfuckers, gay, before we get it popped before we pull up to that thing? Yeah, you would never catch me arguing with a nigga that don't wear socks. Never. Nigga, you see the type of dress shoes I got on? You don't supposed to wear socks with these. Nigga, you just, ass, you, nigga. you just took off some Rick Owens. So where was, where the socks at? Bro, shut your loud ass up. I had these on for the jump, gang. Yeah. Where, where was the socks? Nigga, I put them up. You ain't see me take the socks off in there? Bro, what the fuck going on, bro? Come on. Next time, make sure the key five work on this bitch, nigga. You the one that want to keep putting on the goddamn dough like it's a damn Chevy. Where that courthouse at, fuck, boy? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sick. You ain't no Seymour with raw dog and yellow, man. I mean, uh, Sage. I ain't gonna lie, damn it. Shit, a figure, yeah. They stayed into it. They stayed into it. Way. You know what that means? They like each other. I'm about to check the crack next. I ain't gonna lie. 
Yellow wouldn't fuck with Seymour, but Sage for sure. I'm about to crack. You hear me? Yellow got standards. Sage fuck anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sage fuck anything might be the wildest shit I've heard today, gang. <laughs> she out here fucking anything. What? Hey, you know it. <laughs> I'm so happy it's just me and you. You know she fucking lie. Oh. Boulet. Get the fuck out of here. Wait, what? They got matching together, boy. You ain't hurt? Well, I heard some little shit. I know you heard, for sure. You know the streets talk. Oh, there he did. You know the streets talk. Bull ain't taking that motherfucking down. Throw it there. Well, now the streets talk. Who the fuck is that with that K? I don't know what the fuck is going on around here, bro. I'm the dumb one. Hey, hey, oh, cocktail waiters are in the back. Oh, oh, that's them. I thought y'all look like two cocktail waiters. Y'all look dumb as hey, shit. Hey, bro, ain't nobody got time for this. Yo, player, ass bro. like a thumb. Shut your thumb face ass. Yeah, why dog got a pipe out? What the fuck wrong with you? Yeah, he's playing the same old plain face head ass. I'm saying, Let what are you gonna do so with that bitch? Blow that bitch then, pussy. <laughs> you better watch your motherfucking self, goddamn. Nigga, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Look at this bitch. Fuck all y'all pussy ass niggas. We gonna beat this shit. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. We beat this shit. I beat this case Look at y'all rent a cops in this oh, bitch. I ain't gonna do shit. Oh, rent a cop. Hey, you think you gonna beat it? Get the fuck Boy, up out I'm the way, man. I'm on the burger shop once I'm checking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, dumbass, get back here. You need to get searched. Bro, don't fucking touch me, bro. Don't run up on me. Hey, boy, I'm telling you right now. I got a right to defend myself. Bitch, I got a right to defend myself. All right, all right, all right. You gonna keep putting your hands on me, huh? Keep your I'm getting this shit on body cam. I got a right to defend myself. What are you running up on me for, fool? Send that to the judge. It's okay. Send that to the judge real quick. I got a right to defend myself every time. Yeah, yeah, and I got a right to search your dumb ass. Stop playing with me. Know what you got to do, pussy? Oh, uh, I ain't. Huh. Fuck you, talk this You know, we've been put them up. <laughs> Fuck you so far. What up? What you put up? You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. All them pipes on. Them blowers. No, we put them up. Uh... Hey, I'm taking your snowballs. Motherfucking KO on y'all ass. Especially this fat face motherfucker right here. Whoa, whoa, hey, come, come here, come here, come here, boss man. Come here, boss man. Go ahead, son, and get this wall and put your hands up. Damn. Yeah, bro, let me go, bro. Check the chops, my little ass nigga, gang. Bro, I don't got shit on me. What the fuck I'm bringing to the courtroom? We got to make sure. Come here, come here, come here. We're going to search you, too. Man, get your bitch ass on my face. You ain't going to keep her. Make me take one. Dirty ass cops, man. Huh? Right, how you doing today, Mr. Smith? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Yes, bailiff. Make yeah, sure you know. no one passes out. Feel like we got a, a, a strong defense with this case, so. Offer them fire, 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 fire. Can you let the judge know that um, I hate the, the circumstances that I'm in here, but I love to be in her courtroom. Anybody hungry here? It's Anybody hungry beauty. need food? You let her know I said that right quick. You want me to tell it right now? Yeah, please. Your Honor, um, permission to approach the bench? Yes, yeah, sure, definitely. Hey, you're where Leon at? Yeah, 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 keep, yeah, keep that between us. Where Leon, man? Get my brother here. Get my brother here, please. Hey, let me tell you something. Judge says she appreciates the kind words. It's so, I need to ask you a couple of questions too. Um, I'm, about to go out there I'm gonna ask the judge if we can have a like few minutes in the in the uh, jury room. I'm gonna just stand up, gang. Real, real, the good niggas. That's crazy. Shout out to my people's gang that showed up, man. Y'all oh, these niggas, real niggas. Be, hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. No outbursts. Is it alright if uh, I have a few minutes with my, uh, with the defendants in the jury room? Shut the soft ass up. Come on, though, I was back. Can y'all um, follow me? We're gonna go into the jury room for a minute. Yeah, we're gonna go in the jury room real quick. I got some questions I need to ask y'all before we uh, have a case. Alright, who, me? Come on. Yeah, both of y'all. Both of y'all. Okay. How you doing, y'all? 
nice today. I might have to get out Thank here. Thank you, dear. How are you? Go ahead. Go Glad to see you stayed out of trouble. Thank you. I appreciate that. How you doing, Your Honor? Good to Bailey, see you. Can you uh, unlock Good this? Good to see room. you as well, sir. You've been working out? Got you, I tries. Okay, you know, I see. No, ain't no garage over here, so I gotta run. Then they see them thighs oh. right at the desk. Yeah, I see. Hey, hey, not too much. Not too much. Not too good. It's definitely paying off. Stay on it, Jet. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Did oh, you want to lock the door? All right. So, um, basically, they, you know, this is what they charge, and they're trying to charge you with both of you with gang affiliation and attempted murder of a civilian. Um, you know, they got some photos from the internet, I'm assuming Squawk and different, you know, advertisements or whatever the case that they got. In my opinion, you they don't have enough shout, but Chris. Yeah, I mean, you know, a Photoshop, I don't need you. Y'all all shout. We can hear you very clearly. Yeah, y'all whisper. Here. I mean, you know, a yeah. Photoshop going on, they can't, shit can't prove shit, my nigga, you did. All our Twitter's been hacked, so anything you've been seeing on that motherfucker, it ain't been us. Okay, and then... Um, you know, just like for, I guess if they ask like personal questions, like where you guys work, you know, and things like that, just to give like some background, because they're going to try to accuse you of being gang members and, you know, committing crimes and stuff like that. So what do you guys have to say, you know, about your background, like working and history and stuff, just for a defense? I mean, you know, we... We grew up cooking, you know what I'm saying. So we been we've been selling burgers in the hood all our lives, you know, which is why we work so hard in construction in order to get the burger shop. You feel me? All right. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. We own, we own burger shop now. Okay, got it. So y'all y'all both uh Matter of fact, burger shop, y'all work, you know, that's y'all's work. Should have brought her that Leon some Leon special fries. That mm -hmm. project Peter. I got something, mommy. I brought her some. I brought her some. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make sure we get her right. I got go get it right. Yeah, let's go get it right. I got Kool-Aid. Yeah. What you got for? You got the burger or just the fries? I got the burger. I got the whole combo. Okay. Your honor? That's how you do it, Oh, oh shit. Your Honor, can we approach? Yeah, sure. Just on the other side is fine. Okay. We, but we have something we want to give you. Oh, okay. No problem. Um, so we are the proud owners of Burger Shot, and we just want to bring some food up here. Don't know if you ate today, but we want to make sure that we um, brought you something to what we've been working on all our lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Business owners. Go ahead. Try that right there. I got your whole combo right there. All right. See the fries right the there? Crap. Oh, my fries, I made them, and that burger right there, my brother made them. Yep, there's Leon's right. special fries right there, so the seasoning on there, you're going to love it. Okay, I'm going to have to do an extra jog tomorrow. I got you. These look good. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem, Your Honor. Go ahead, hit that, drink that Kool-Aid right now, and them fries and that burger. Let me see something real quick. <laughs> let, me know that motherfucker, let me know if that motherfucker is 10, Your Honor. Look, you don't trust me? <laughs> So look after this after this little case, just let me know what you think about that meal. I definitely will give you all five stars if I like it. Thank appreciate you, you appreciate you. you. Looking okay. beautiful today too. Got to and you guys you again. look very dapper as well. Appreciate thank you, it. thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Oh, we can right go back here. up here, boss man. Go have me working out. Mm. This burger look good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, for real. It's a gym right there by Fleeka Bank too. I can uh, recommend her to my trainer if she need. Oh, you talking about uh, Pete? Yeah, Pete, Pete you know he got me right trainer. on the training side. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, bro! <laughs> hey, I'm trying to give this bitch away. <laughs> yeah, he too. Damn, boy, fat like hey, ass. Bro, this bitch lost sleep, polo up. Uh. What? TP on my brother. <laughs> hey, TP on my brother, man. man. Hey, what the fuck? Fuck right here. Fuck that. Hey, Zelda, my man, he's getting the second row, man. Yo. Hey, bro. Brody. Leon, nigga. What up, Bressy? You nervous at all? Hell no, nah. shit, we innocent. 
You feel me? I ain't got nothing to worry about. I know you're innocent, but I'm still nervous as hell, man. Why your man's texting me? What's wrong with that nigga? Kevin, Kevin, been looking good as hell. Hey, can y'all please, <laughs> please tone it down a little bit back there, please? Thank you. Chocolate, motherfucker. Yeah, you got it. Oh, my God. Oh, hot today, dog. Bro, what the fuck, bro? Hey, 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 Someone is roaching this bitch. I'm crying. <laughs> hey, 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 let's fuck all up, dog. <laughs> roaching the car for a while. It's here, dog. Can y'all please tone it down? Please. <laughs> Man, I fell on to my knee when the laws came. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nigga sick as hell. Man, what? What we doing? Oh, no, I'm ready to get this show on the road, man. BLF, I think we're ready. DA, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Defense, are you ready? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, BLF, you can start. All right. All right, for the now decision, <coughs> we got Leon and Dion versus the state. Y'all may be seated. Get your big ass up. Get your big ass up. Thank you, guys. Probably Thank you, enough. guys. Uh, today, we have the case of the state versus... Uh, Chill, bro. Mm -hmm. Leon and Dion. Dion and Dion Smith. All right, here we are. Okay, let me just take a look and uh, read the charges that, that we have presented by the uh, prosecution today. We have a criminal complaint of state of Ca state of Los Santos versus um, Leon and Dion Smith, uh, felony class two gang affiliation. A total time facing 100 months and a felony class A attempted murder of a civilian uh, time facing 2,500 months total time facing today 2,600 months uh, the, the prosecution will uh, now uh, start with their opening statement your honor people of the court my name is Amelia Rain, District Attorney of Los Santos. Today we come before you in the court of law to present to you the case of Dion Smith and Leon Smith, who are believed to be brothers. We are charging them with felony class A attempt murder of a civilian, a man named Luchi Capone that carries a sentencing of 2,500 months, and also felony class C gang affiliation that carries a sentencing of 100 months. Today we'll be presenting undeniable evidence that the Smith brothers are in fact affiliated with a gang that goes by many names such as Garden Boys, G7, Grizzly Gang, Grizzly Gardens. These affiliates are known to wear a grizzly bear chain and other chains that represent these names stated. The prosecution will also be providing a character witness during the course of the trial named Seymour Pines. The prosecution is seeking that Smith brothers take full responsibility of their charges and serve the full time for each charge. Thank you. You need to speak up a little bit. That nigga a rat. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, defense, please uh, proceed with your opening statement. Your Honor and people of the court, I'm Christopher Turk and I'm the defense for. Leon and Dion Smith in this case. They're being charged with gang affiliation and attempted murder of a civilian. 
to put it simply, Leon Smith and Dion Smith are innocent. They're hardworking citizens of Los Santos, business owners, and they come from a rough place and have made something good out of it. The prosecution looks to label them as gang members and murderers, and we look to prove the innocence and clean the record of Leon and Dion doing so. That would be all, Your Honor. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll start with the prosecution. Can you uh, present your first piece of evidence? Yes, ma'am. If um, you have the access, please look at the criminal complaint. And the first piece of evidence will be up under body cam of accusations. So in the first piece of evidence that is presented today, you'll see uh, Mr. Dion Smith and Mr. Leon Smith um, presented in a lineup that was done at the LSPD headquarters. Um, in the evidence, you will see in here Mr. Seymour uh, point out these two individuals um, that were involved in the heinous crime of committing a murder. All right, give me a minute. Let me review that evidence. Okay. All right. Yes, Your Honor. And I've seen the evidence. Yes, ma'am. And as you clearly heard, um, he was able to point out Leon and Dion um, for orchestrating the murder Red of Gucci Capone. Hello, bro. Your Honor, the defense would like to object. Uh, on what grounds? Uh, based on the grounds of the evidence uh, involving two officers being put in a room with Leon and Dion and used that for the lineup. So you, you're objecting that, that it's what? I'm, I'm objecting because they're, you, they took two officers that were involved in the incident and made them undress and go into the lineup with the same witness that they're using in this case. So you There's only like two other, it? yes. They're putting two individuals that the witness can see in the room with two individuals that he didn't see. So who else are they really gonna have to pick from? All right, uh, prosecution, what, what is your response to this? Uh, Mr. Seymour was unaware that the two other people in there with officers so it really doesn't affect um, he's standing the right there in the room with them and he could not hear in that room sir this can't be real. that uh, room in there just, is soundproof. just going off of the evidence the officers walk from and, and they're talking on the radio they walk from inside that room into the room with leon and dion and they have their uniforms on and you can hear on the radio they're telling them to take clothing off What is so I'm confused as to why you think that means that Seymour is unable to identify his uh, identify the people in the crime. Your Honor, with them, I'm saying there's not enough viable options in the lineup. They're using two officers, and then they're and they have. Two of this in a lineup is normally just one person and then multiple other individuals. They have two suspects 
and then it's just them and then two officers come in and stand next to them. Okay. But Seymour standing right there with the, with Leon and Dean in the room by themselves. Okay. I I'm going to have to allow this piece of evidence. I do understand your your objection to it, but I do feel like that it's um it's the best lineup that they could present with the time they had and we can uh, I will take that into account as we proceed with the case. You will have a chance Understood. to, if Seymour does come on the stand, you will have a chance to cross-examine his identification of the lineup. Understood, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, prosecution, you can proceed. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's move to the second piece of evidence. Uh, this evidence will show the wiretaps that were uh, placed on Seymour's phone. Once we had put out an arrest warrant for Leon and Dion Smith, um, Mr. Seymour received a call from Dion Smith threatening his life and uh, Mr. Dion told Seymour he was going to put him where his grandma was, um, which is dead, Your Honor. And that's the second clip you have here? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you can fast forward to about a minute and uh, you will be able to hear the conversation. Okay. Uh, it's, it starts off with hey, a lawyer. picture of DW, right? Lawyer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, sir. So fast to a bro, Jake or something, nigga. Both of that nigga grandmas ain't dead, bro. You just gonna sit there and let her say that shit? All right. No, I'm, I'm gonna have a chance to object once you know she makes Both her. Both um, I'll give you time to look bro. over that. I know. I'm gonna say the same thing. You know that they doesn't clarify that you said she's dead. You could say she was in a better place or she went to somewhere nice. Man, I didn't say you that shit. Man, what? She ain't no, no fucking I'm... voice expert recognizer, bag it, bro. You know, I'm just going off of what the judge is allowing. You no, know, go objected. off getting us free. What the fuck? I'm I'm doing that. <laughs> right. I what objected, is he I objected to the first piece. I'm going to object to this piece, and I'm going to bring that up. But she's got to be able to look at the evidence first. You about to get us slapped in this bitch gate that we canceled right, thank off. You. I've had time to uh, <laughs> listen to that piece of evidence. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so that piece of evidence, you know, it shows that Mr. Dion uh, did, in fact, make contact with Seymour uh, once the warrant was put out for his arrest, uh, proving that he does, in fact, know Mr. Seymour and know him closely. Understood. Objection, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, relevance. Uh, in the in this case, they're being charged with gang affiliation and attempted murder of a civilian. At best, this evidence would be threatening, which really isn't relevant to the charges. And also, they're going off of voice without any other identification factors. So how can they necessarily say for a fact that that was Leon or Dion? Because of the phone tap, sir. So the phone taps work, um, you know, we see who's calling him, who texts him, who he calls and who he texts and also Were the all phone taps authorized by the judge? No, sir. Not that I'm aware of. So you're illegally tapping Leon and Dion's phone? Uh, we didn't tap Leon and Dion's phones. We tapped Seymour with his permission. That's how we got this evidence, sir. Yes, so sir. you tapped Seymour's phone and that identified Leon. How does that, how does that work? Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware <laughs> how it works, sir. But um, so Seymour agreed to having his phone tapped. So we put a little device in his phone so we can see all of his texts and his he calls agreed. and hear that his calls as well. listen to him. Right. Okay, what I the will fuck? allow this evidence if Seymour did allow for his um, uh, phone to be tapped, there would be no warrant. Um, and there's no laws uh, against that right now in uh, San Andreas as far as... Uh, if Seymour let you search his car, you can't go in my bag. What the fuck? Precedence for that. So I will allow it until there is a law in place that has some type of stipulation regarding how phone calls uh, with the consent of the person... Um, because uh, what's happened is that if Seymour felt like he was threatened, he provided this evidence to the uh, PD, and that is allowed. Um, if you can record someone threatening you, they don't. Their permission doesn't have to be um, granted. Uh, All but, right. Uh, understand your objection, but it's uh, overruled. 
Um, are we okay to move to the next piece of evidence, Your Honor? Yes, please go ahead. Okay, um, in the third link, uh, the evidence provided will be a phone call that was made um, also to Mr. Seymour by Mr. Leon Smith. I'll give you a moment to look over that. Okay, thank you. One moment. So the third, there's three links there? It's the third link provided, ma'am. Okay. What evidence uh, there, bro? Let me see. I'm just having trouble activating it. Give me a moment here. Yes, ma'am. Send the DOJ. Can I, can, do I guys say that or not? Um, you, I mean, honestly, you should. I can try uh, the taggy. Hold on. I think this should have missed trial. All right, I just tagged you. Um, it's in the court request, and then you'll see the criminal complaint for State versus Leon and Dion. Of course. Okay. All right. All right. I've had time to look at that. Can you speak to that evidence some more for me, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so during um, that evidence, you will see that Mr. Leon Smith made contact with Seymour Smith at the time. Um, we were still trying to bring them in for their warrant of arrest. Um, and you'll see that Mr. Leon willingly made contact with Mr. Seymour, that he contacted him. Um, so any chances that Leon um, denies his um, denies knowing Mr. Seymour uh, would be found false. Um, also, during the call, Mr. Seymour presented to Mr. Leon, reminded him to call him Big Bart because he's got that dog. And you'll also hear that he's blaming his a warrant of his rest um, on Seymour. What? Objection, he, Your Honor. You'll hear in the evidence, uh, Mr. Leon say, I got an, a warrant out uh, for my arrest. You effed up my life. What? Uh, Objection, Your Honor. I swear to these yeah. sound like me. You fucked up my life. Uh, all these pieces of evidence, as the sure whisper, has stated, bro. she said they uh, to character and acknowledgement of. Uh, yeah, you hear me? Uh, me or anybody? Acquaintances you make sure you don't whisper. I think that's all she's trying to prove at this point. Um, I'm going to allow her to proceed as she builds the case, but I am looking to re relevance uh, a more ca more evidence as, as far as the charges are, go. Uh, DA. I, I don't know I how to get to the evidence. This, these, these pieces of evidence as Man, you too? You are trying to um, connect the two parties. I do understand the connection no, being made here, but uh, we do need to go ahead. So I'll, I'll Why are you trying to sit on my bitch lap, though? She's just, she's just trying to build the connection between the two parties, and she's identifying the person on the phone uh, as saying that that is your client on the phone. But you have uh, every right to deny that claim. Understood, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, permission to move forward, Your Honor? Yes. Can everybody please shut the door? Okay, up? so the next uh, piece of evidence that the prosecution would like to present is information obtained from Dion Smith Squawk. Um, if you would like, it's 11 um, pieces of evidence. If you would like to go ahead and open them and look through them, and we'll speak of them as a whole. Hey, Lori, how we get to the evidence, big dog? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm which, which email which email is it in, bro? It's in the emergency services email. All right, Ben. Under what channel? How the fuck am I supposed to see that game? For, under what channel? All right, I see scope photo one. Judicial. Nigga, I'm involved in the case. How the fuck I can't see evidence oh, against me? But it's same rules, what? I ain't gonna lie, Lori, that's something you supposed to provide us discovery, my nigga. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this bitch fighting a blind case. We don't even know what's going on. This the same. They, they just provided and this evidence is criminal complaint, and the judge is allowing it. Everything that y'all say, I yes, ma'am. If you want to open them all up, us, and we'll go through go them down. all. That's what we trying to say, man. Anything go, it's the judge. The, say I that. Over say the judge, you know. Bro. Say that. <laughs> we don't got no discovery, gang. Um, Your Honor, um, is there a way that you can get? The defendants a copy of this criminal complaint so they're able to look through it with us right because right now y'all taking uh, a piss have received it. 
Yeah, I'll take it a piss, fam. Did you not put it in court request? <laughs> yes, it's in court request. Dion. They, they're saying they don't have access to that, Your Honor. The defendants? Yes. Okay, you, you can share it with them, or I don't know exactly how I would okay. provide it to them. Um, Chief, I'm going to send you the link. Uh, if you want to pass it on to defendants, you can. Okay. Uh, do you want to continue on, Your Honor? Uh, yes, definitely. They can review it while we proceed Thanks. to keep going. Okay, so uh, just to reiterate, these images are from Dion Smith's Twitter. Uh, which, what is the Twitter handle? <laughs> the Twitter handle is Garden Boys with a Z. Not my Twitter. So you said Garden Boys. Bro, y'all niggas shut the fuck up. Dion. Smith's yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, you can. Um... So the first uh, image that you'll see is a picture, and it says "Garden Shit" with two 100 yeah. signs beside of it. Um, and it is a group of about seven or eight people in that picture who are all, um, you know, wearing the same chains, throwing up the same gang signs. And if you move along to the next one, um, it's the same Twitter account. Photo is just a close up of the selfie that uh, Dion had took of himself wearing the grizzly bear chain. Objection, okay. Your Honor. Yes. Uh, these accusations based on this squawk account are speculative. I mean, how are they actually going to say that? Dion is the one posting this stuff on Squawk. Uh, permission to speak, Your Honor? Yes. Um, if it's not Dion's account, then he has someone um, here in the city who is pretending to be him and is able to have access to his phone to post selfies of himself. If you're claiming that these are not his. Objection. So you're saying that somebody else is posting pictures of Dion? Uh, no, sir, that's what you're implying. I'm saying if that's what you are implying, then that must be the case. Um, but it's actually not the case. It is, in fact, Mr. Dion Smith's Twitter account. With what proof? Uh, we're going through it, sir. Okay. Because I had okay, a chance so to review the photos, and it's just pictures. There's no proof to show that it's Dion posting anything. She's I, claiming I that there's say, pictures of him in the, on the account, but how are they saying that it's him? I, I it's not even to, his name. I do have to say that I am a little bit, um, I'm not confident that this Garden Boys account, do you have any other evidence that would, um, that would str more strongly uh, tie Mr. Smith. Mr. Yes, ma'am. As the trial goes on. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, um, all right. So we could proceed to look at these photos with kept in mind, uh, defense that, uh, hey, she lawyer. plans on, uh, strengthening a tie between this right, account sir. and your client. I see emergency services. Happen, now, what tab is under? Then feel free to judicial. present a motion to dismiss just do, this it's so just a, and, uh, It's just a title judicial. channel that say judicial. As we go yeah, along. And then court All right, let's go ahead to the next one. Inside that channel.
are your clients um, i'm i'm not arguing that uh who the individuals are in those photos i'm referring to the uh whoever's posting these photos because the def or the prosecution has claimed that it is dion who's making these posts you can see there's multiple individuals in the photos um which in the last picture it looks like they may potentially be in a jewelry store so what's wrong with being with your friends and you just bought jewelry and Yo, you know you're just having a good time. That's not my um, but going to the going to the relevance of the evidence, that's not my the prosecution hasn't proven that it's Dion posting anything. That's not my Twitter. My Twitter is now just because there's Dion. photos of him on the squad doesn't mean that it's him and it's not his name on the account. Yes, the prosecution plans to provide justification and reasoning as to why we believe these accounts belong to the gentleman. Um, account, so, Your I Honor, just uh, right asking now. you to deny his objection um, and wait for the course of the trial to run. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're clear on that objection. I, like, I haven't uh, overruled his objection. I am waiting on that. Like you said, I'll give you time to build up this evidence. But if we don't, uh, if we're not able to provide a connection to Mr. Dion Smith in this account, then this cannot. Uh, hey, lawyer. You cannot say that it's his account. I yes, will sir. say if that. If they is my account, to, uh, what crime was done with, on Spark? Uh, with these chains on, I must that's, admit. That's what, um, I, that's what I brought up. You no, know, no, I say no, relevance. Again, what crime? Fuck, don't say relevance. Say what crime was done on Spark. But as far as who posted them and who owns this account, I have yet to find any ultimate proof that it is his, his account. Yes, Your Honor. Permission to move forward? Yes. Mm -hmm. the okay, so the next pieces of evidence that will be that presented are from Mr. Leon Smith's walk. The first is image, it, is it you will see Leon and another yeah, that's one of the associate, charges. Gang affiliation. Um, you know, wearing the this? grizzly chain. Um, looks like they're the posted the at a block a that's called that Grizzly Gardens. Um, in the picture, she's in front of two motorcycles. We're in the law to say you can't be in the gang. In the caption for that that's, picture, that's showing the, the next evidence decision. was Haven. We're a you group know. of people. I, I, I said. Uh, I said the third piece of evidence you will see it's also from Leon's Twitter. Um, that clearly says his name and also said. shows no um, his profile picture game. is a picture a of, of people, him bro, and label, Mr. Dion and another associate. Okay, but so the next tweets uh, will go on to say as well and him tweeting at Mr. PJ Paul Johnson to stay there. Bro. And in the next piece of evidence, you'll see where Mr. Leon said F PJ, implying that is Paul Johnson. Hmm. And then the next piece of evidence is Mr. Leon Smith. Oh, like that's the only PJ. He's wearing um, two chains, one being the grizzly bear chain and the other being uh, a chain of a male with dreads with his mouth open. And he calls it real water. Real water. All right. The next piece of evidence is also Leon standing with his two chains on that we believe, um, you know, is affiliated with the gang, Grizzly Gang, GG, G7, Garden Boys. Understood. Uh, the next picture just uh, shows the same, him with his chains on, holding a stack of money, throwing up suggestive gang signs. Uh, the next piece, yes, ma'am. Okay, so the next piece of evidence is a flyer that Mr. Leon posted called Grizzly <laughs> Gang, Grizzly Wonderland. It was a snowball fight, um, but there you see they do call themselves Grizzly Gang. In the next piece of evidence, um, you will see he, Mr. Leon posted another ad um, called Gar Garden Boys Burger Shot, now opening suggesting um, huh? that him and his affiliates own um, Garden Boys Burger Shot. Um, also, the next piece of evidence, you're good. Also, in the next piece of evidence, you'll see G7 Records way back Wednesday. Um, it was a party they have thrown. But just again, to reiterate, 
uh, one of the names that they go by. All right, prosecution. Uh, are all these photos then, are pretty much going to uh, going to going towards the evidentiary of whether they are gang affiliated? Yes, ma'am. This line of evidence is showing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. ma'am. Uh, so the next one you'll see Leon's party, Grizzly Gardens, um, Garden Boys presents. You know that just also keep in mind this is uh, proving their guilt in being um, in a gang affiliation. The next one you'll see where the Garden Boys hosted a fight night with cash prizes. Um, Garden Boys presents oh, was the title the on the poster. I ain't heard a bank robbery yet, man. <laughs> the next one you'll see. Uh, this is how we were. Up events um, for the city, man. For the Leon community. tagged Dion on Twitter crazy. and said, "Back to back, coppin'. We on at good ice." Talking about That's when they bought their chains, chains at um, Icebox, where they all bought the same chains, um, which we believe is tied to their gang. All right. It's a crowd for throwing a party. And then the last one is just to reiterate uh, the same picture that was presented um, in Dion's Twitter. Okay. Your Honor, uh, I wanted to give the prosecution a chance to finish, but obviously I'm going to object. Um, mm -hmm. re relevance for one, I mean, they're, they're claiming that these pictures are somehow tying them to being gang affiliated um, and, and what gang specifically and, and who are the members of this gang? Uh, where is the proof that this gang exists besides this incident that they're claiming of gang affiliation? um and, and attempted murder on a civilian um my clients have an enterprise i mean they own businesses they have a music group um they financially can afford to buy jewelry it's not a crime um for them to be with their friends wearing similar pieces of jewelry well, and crime. just living you know I, that, that's all i feel that the prosecution has presented so far is just my clients living and, and doing positive where's the crime community. You know, they're, they're giving out stuff to the community. They're having events. What What's illegal about that? Understood. Um, Your Honor, I just want to uh, reiterate this all leads up to the rest of the trial. Okay. Uh, yes, I do see the evidence that you're presenting here. I do see where you're going with this. But as the defense is saying, uh, there's no... Um, real evidence that they're a gang i do see that numerous people is everything okay with it i do see that numerous people are um wearing chains and that's not uncommon that people would purchase the same chains uh we haven't yet seen is everything okay is in there or what the okay uh yeah so We'll let you proceed with that, but defense, I am agreeing with you in that although these do show uh, Leon and Dion wearing what I what appears to be Leon and Dion wearing chains, I have yet to see any um, violence associated with them. And as with social media, I, I would need a lot of evidence in order to uh, hold someone uh, accountable to say that they did a crime based on a, a simple uh, statement made on social media. If that was the case, the entire city would be in jail for saying that they're criminals. So we just need to make sure that there's evidence. If you have evidence that ties directly to a post, uh, which it would be very hard to do, if you were able to get evidence, that would be the way. But let's just go ahead and proceed. I am going to allow that uh, objection because I do agree that the evidence does not prove that they are a criminal enterprise. It does appear that they just may be a, a bunch of friends who like to post a chain. I haven't seen anything criminal yet. Exactly. Although okay, the posters seem ominous. They do seem ominous. I do agree. Um, I can't say the word properly, but they do seem a little bit, um, you know, interesting. But I don't see any real proof that they're, you know, a gang, like you're saying. Well, the prosecution is ready to continue to move forward with the trial to prove that they are a criminal enterprise. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's let's keep that going. Okay. And uh, this is the last two pieces of evidence I just wanted to put in there. 
um, to show that we had enough evidence to get a arrest warrant for these two gentlemen, uh, Leon and Dion Smith. Um, just throwing that in there. If you, um, I mean, I'm sure you've already taken a look at it, um, but it is there. And we are ready to start calling our character witnesses. Okay. All right. Thank you, defense. I've heard all of your objections. So all of them have been noted. Uh, we'll proceed with uh, the first witness that the prosecution would like to bring forward. Uh, what is the witness's name? Bailiff, will you swear them in, please, when they approach the before they have a seat? Seymour Pints. Brad Moore. Will be our first witness. Your Honor, um, please be sworn in. There you go. Raise your hand. Put your hand on his before you sit down. There Red you go. ass got his mask on. Do you silence as well to tell the truth, the whole truth, and number two, so help you got? Big shout. You have to speak louder, Mr. Seymour. I can't hear you, Mr. Seymour. No, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You got to shout. Permission to approach the witness, Your Honor? Yes, please proceed. Can you state your name for the court, sir? It's okay, sir. You're safe here. Um, are Dion Smith and Leon Smith currently present in this courtroom? Can you please point them out for the court? Yes, sir, I promise. Oh my god. Can you go see on shout? Okay. Can they, can Could the witness shout, shout for the court, please? You hear me good? I think I'll shout, shout. shout. Yo. Can you tell the two white men, mean the two white shirts to stand there, please? <laughs> Spit it out, fuck it, rat. Right there. <laughs> Sitting right there, sir. The break? To break? Mm -hmm. Yes? Thank you, sir. How did you meet the Smith brothers? Well... Me and Leon used to be friends. He used to come to my house and help me yeah. take care of my grandma. And he he poisoned her. I just what? recently found out. Yeah. Objection, what Ronnie. the fuck? Right, go ahead and get Objection. him out of here, bro. Uh, uh, um, okay. As presented in one of the first piece of evidence you do hear, Mr. Dion Smith say me, he's going to put Seymour where his grandma is, so that supports his claims no, time, um, of thinking he killed his grandmother. Your Honor, that's, uh, the, that's the, speculative. The, yes, the Bad. objection is sustained. There's no evidence uh, that uh, oh, that is the case. That is uh, hearsay. Sorry. How long have you known the Smith brothers? I've known them since, I, since I've been living on my own, since my grandma passed away. Leon helped me get on my feet by selling drugs. And what Objection. Uh, sir. Here, say, Your Honor. Since they call him Big Bart, he has Hold on a second. Dogs. We have an objection. Uh, objection. Defense says, uh, what's here say exactly? Both of those statements. He said that uh, he grew up with the defendants and they were selling drugs. And then he calls the defendant Big Bark uh, because of him possessing drugs or some sort of um, it's Statement. not hearsay if it's our witness's testimony of the events that occurred. Okay. Is there proof of this taking place? Yes, it is. Lock there's no, uh, there's no proof in the evidence showing that uh, the uh, defendants have possessed already, or uh, shaken. Can we please had continue? any dealings with drugs? Where are the drugs that the witness is claiming? He's given a testimony, not evidence. Well, his testimony is evidence. Okay, guys, we're going to refrain from going back and forth during objections. Uh, the defense will state their objection. I will state it's sustained or overruled, and then we'll proceed to the next uh, question. And at this uh, point, we will overrule the hearsay. If he is saying that his grandmother was killed, uh, that's not hearsay. He was. He is know that his that his grandmother has passed. Not sure how that's hearsay, uh, but let's proceed. Dion also used to beat me. He used to make me pick up the like a house in the day. He, he made multiple people do it. He took my baby mama, turned her to a prostitute, and Leon took her from Dion. 
And now there's his bottom, bitch. Okay, sir. What the fuck? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance? <laughs> it's, it's his testimony, Your Honor. I believe uh, he has freedom to speak. Uh, he he needs to keep everybody. his testimony in line with uh, his objective here, which is to just maintain his relationship with them. So I do understand that he feels like he knows them closely and he is accusing them of various things. I think we're clear on uh, that. You can go ahead and proceed with the testimony, sir. He continued to beat me multiple days. I asked for a job at the burger shop. Instead, they made me sell drugs continuously for 16 hour days. They kept me on the leash. I could never get good cars like they got. So right there, LeBron. Yes. Objection once again, Your Honor. Relevance. It's all relevant, sir. Facts. I've been oh, to the bro. hospital multiple times because of DI and he hasn't paid one bill. He also robbed me last week. The only question, um, I mean, I do understand your testimony. Tell that red-ass nigga to shout, man. Any, mm, this part was slapping. I ain't gonna lie. Um, is it, I just wanna... I'm um, sorry. You better be careful All right. with that burger. That's a lucha hey, burger. Hey, hey, hey. Human me. No. What the fucking lie? Fuck her. What? They killed my friend, Lucci. And to oh, get rid boy. of the body, they Dang. chopped him up at the burger shop. You fucking what? lied, man. Sir, I, I need you to refrain Pick from uh, defam again. defamation of, of shit I'm eating. I mean, of things I'm eating um, uh, without Honor, evidence. Um, uh, uh, Sorry. Mr. Go Seymour, ahead. is your evidence uh, that these the, events the burger, That the burger is Lucci meat? Yes, Your Honor. No, Lucci. no. What, what I, I object. No, that? I didn't eat no Lucci meat. I, I pa pause. Pause. Lucci, what? Okay, okay. So, um, all right, Mr. Seymour, I got a very important question for you. What happened to Lucci? Tell me everything from the beginning to the end of what happened to Mr. Lucci. What is it? Basketball court, they killed. And why did they kill him? Knox came to Leah and said, and said Lucci was stepping out. So Leah and Dia told him, get that nigga out of here. Now they're making then, burgers out the nigga. And you saw this happen, Mr. Seymour. With my own too. Yes, sir. Um, how would you describe Dion's and Leon's character, Mr. Seymour? Would you say they're good people, bad people, uh, threats to themselves or others? Objection, Your Honor. Uh, objection. Uh, yes, defense. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, it's, it's an opinion-based question. She's asking his opinion of the defendant's Both character. The is, how can that go on the record, his opinion? Okay, can you rephrase your question uh, to not present the opinion for him and uh, state it as a fact? Anything he knows is a fact to himself. Um, uh, in your time being around Dion and Leon, how did they treat you? Thank you. Like piece of garbage. Can you um can you go into more detail, Mr. Seymour, and um, you know? Objection. Leading the witness. One time, I was at the field where they tell me to pick. Dion came up to me. I didn't do anything to him, and he beat me with a bat. I I objected, Your Honor. Yeah, I was somebody knocking on the door, bro. Beat me with a bat. Oh, sorry. You can't hear me. My apologies. Give me a second. Uh, your objection on what grounds? Leading the witness, she the prosecution asked the, the the witness a question and he answered and then she asked him to further explain and he already gave an explanation. Uh, leading would be her stating the the question and the answer. Similarly, um, I feel like she asked him an open-ended question and he could answer any way he felt. 
so I'm going to overrule that one. Go ahead and proceed. Uh, yes, Mr. Seymour. Um, so you did you join Mr. Dion and Leon's gang? I was a known stepper in their gang. A known stepper in their gang. No. Okay. And what was the process of you joining their gang? I came up in the garden selling drugs because I was homeless. Leon was trying to help me out. He gave me my first 50 pack. Yes, sir. And uh, where is the Grizzly Gardens located? 9119. 9119. Um, and in my GPS, it looks like that's a poppy field, correct? Is that um, where you said... What did they have you doing at the poppy field, sir? No, that's how we we get that shit in. And what would that be considered as? Getting what in? That dog. What considers Leon to be Mr. Big Bark? Gotcha. Okay, sir. And so, uh, what other Little events beans, occurred man. once you joined the gang? What can I say didn't occur? They run a prostitution ring. You see, they sit in front row back there. Oh, you fucking lie, man. Oh, bro, for blurting shit out, bro. You gonna make us look crazy sitting in front of the judge, my nigga? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know how much Hold on. Do. What kind of tasks do they have you carry out, Mr. Seymour? They had me pull out here. Shit, fuck America. I ain't gotta do shit. Stay black and die. And who was making all the calls of uh, the gang you joined with Mr. Hey. Leon and Dion? The calls uh, rained down from Leon and Dion through <laughs> Knox, and, and they trickled down from there. Okay, thank you, Mr. Seymour. And how have you they been ever since down. you come forward to the police about this situation and tried to leave the gang? Shit haven't been good. My life has been in shambles. I can barely feed myself again. I'm and why are they in shambles, sir? Right. Leah, you brought this nigga around. Who is doing this to you, sir? <laughs> can you please, if they're um, here Leah, in the courtroom, bro. can you please point them out? Yeah, say it in front of everybody. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, chill, chill, chill. chill, 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 chill. Nobody hear me, me nigga. Bro, oh, shut up. Uh, bro, say that shit right now, gang. Yes, sir. Speaking of threats. Mm hmm. Sweet. Yo, <laughs> chill, chill, bro. Yes, sir. Bro, y'all chill. Last morning. Um, yeah, last morning, bro. Oh, shit. They're menaces to society. And I just want to get far away from them and live as far as I can live away from them. So I can live yes, in the day to day process knowing that I won't be hurt. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you for answering our questions. That's all we have at the moment for Mr. Seymour. All right. Uh, the, wait, uh, Mr. Seymour. Defense, would you like to cross-examine the witness? Yes, I would, Your Honor. Okay, please proceed. Uh, permission to approach? Definitely, come on. Mr. Seymour. So just going over, you know, your statements. You claim you were forced by Leon and Dion to do certain things, correct? Yes. Okay, um, and how long did this go on? You say, you know, you grew up around them and, uh, you know, you've known them for a while. So how, how long would you say? Since before my grandma passed, like probably a couple years. <sighs> okay. And um, could you clarify your age for the court? 25. Okay, so you'd say for about a few years you were yeah, sound 25. committing crimes. No, that's not true. Okay. In the past uh, year, I've committed crimes, yes, but not 
for the last two years that I've known them, I've been committing crimes. I've only been committing crimes since they started their organization, since my grandma passed. I used to be a house nigga. Okay, so what was wrong with this nigga, you, bro? You know, you weren't into the street life before the organization. That's what you're Mr. saying. Mr. Seymour, can you refrain, uh, refrain from using profanity during your testimony? I'm sorry. This is the way I was raised. So. I understand. Okay. Uh, what was the question? So you're claiming that you didn't commit any crimes before meeting or joining the organization, correct? Right. So, why did you wait so long to go to the police? They kept beating me. I thought things would change. I thought things would change. On one hand, you got Leon telling me, nigga, you gonna come up. You gonna come up. Then you got Dion beating me, and he go with his brother everything he do. So I said, fuck it, they just killed Gucci. They chopped him up and made him Okay, uh, I, I just, with the questions, you know, I just like to refrain from the excessive statements. So to, to carry on, you claim that you joined the gang, or you were forced into it. I joined, objection, I joined it objection, it objection. leading. First. Uh, objection, leading. Uh, sustain. Please restate your, your question. Please re ask the question. Just put in a question format. Excuse me. <laughs> Where are you? forced into the gang or did you join the Objection. Oh, the ground. It's still leading. He can ask how would you how would you you know how how were you in you know join how did you join the gang? But he's not supposed you know how did you get into the gang? Let's start from telling him he was in the gang. Well, that was his, that was the prosecution's question. They asked him when he joined the gang, and he said he joined the gang at a certain time. Okay, I understand what you're talking about. That's already been stated. Okay, so let him proceed. Go ahead. Right, and I asked him how he got into the gang. I said, what, did he join it willingly? Was he forced? You know, what was now. the, yeah. I understand now. Proceed. So he answered. Are you okay, Mr. Lucci? Are you holding up all right over there? Mr. Pints? Why can't I look from up yes, top, bro? Yeah, so uh, could you answer that question once again for the court? How, how did you get into the gang? And, and what gang are you referencing? We were all friends before it became the Grizzly Garden. We were just friends by the apartment. And so you and you, so you're saying you hung around the defendants and it went from just hanging out to becoming a gang. That's what you're saying. Exactly. That's exactly what we did. So you did that willingly. You, nobody forced you, you know, uh, you know, there was no objection leading. No, hold on. Since you're saying what you're saying, you asking me, did I willingly become friends with them? Yes, I did. When we became a gang, yes, I did want to be gang members with them. Did I know I was going to be beaten and selling drugs every day? No, I did it. And that's where I put my fucking foot down. Right, so you joined the gang willingly, just to, that, that was my question, you know, and you answered, you said yes. I was homeless, Objection, I was myself, and sell drugs at the same time. He told me this is what real niggas do. So, to become a real nigga, I had to learn how to sell drugs. All right, we'll proceed on. And smoke I niggas understand. when I was told to. Okay, so you sold drugs and killed people. 
for them in the name of the game. Objection relevance. This is these questions are to address the witness's character. Which he's yeah, claiming he's to a drug dealer to. and a murderer. Sustained. I'm sorry, overruled. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow that line of question. Then he is uh, establishing character. He is uh, asking questions related to the person's character. These are character questions. Um, they may not be related to the crime, but they are related to him uh, establishing the character of the witness. So any questions around that uh, it will be allowed. So for, please proceed. Understood. Um, also, some statements you made on the stand, you referenced you couldn't get the cars um, or the things that the defendants had. Because um, they kept me on the leash. They wanted me to be a, a, a foot soldier instead of a boss like them. Hmm. Okay. And, and how did that make you feel? Sometimes I'll be down, but then we'll have talks about how I can be bigger some days. And did you feel like that wasn't going to happen, that you were going to get to where they were going to get to? Especially after Dion took all my work and beat me up. Okay. Um, and, you know, what did that make you want to do when that took place? What you think? I'm right here now. Okay, so you're saying... You're testifying against Leon and Dion because of actions that took place. You know, that you felt jealous and you were envious of the things that they nah, had. Nah, 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 playboy. You missing, you missing the Lucci meat and Lucci burgers. First, make sure you put that in there, motherfucker. Uh, please. What are you trying to take uh, my name, bitch boy? What? Now listen, hold on. You ain't gonna stop me. I'm gonna continue this. You told me uh, to I need you to refrain from the truth. Your Honor, yes. please, please, please like this to go on the record for the witness's envious. character. That's a cuss word in my book. All right, you've made your point. Right, uh, Grandma taught me how to be a good to person. Witness. Good to my friends. Stand up guy. Not kill your friends and make burgers out of them. And make your Honor, the witness clearly the can't control himself. Permission to treat Mr. Uh, witness as hostile. Uh, Mr. Pints, please try to refrain from using a vulgar language. I understand you're just expressing yourself, but this is a court of law, and we like to maintain order. I understand you're upset, and this is a pressure situation, but um, um, refrain from that language if possible, uh, or we'll have to end your testimony soon. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate you being here and Can your courage you that it takes to, stop, to stand here. Stop badgering me. Um, we won't allow him to be badgered. You're, the prosecution is allowed to object if they feel like you're being badgered. But at this point, I do feel like you're the question that can't proceed. All right, so you've established this. Uh, do you have any more character questions, or are we proceeding to the next line of questioning? Hey man, go for it. Um, I think that that'll do for the character. Um, also, to address the claims by the witness, you claim that a murder took place that you witnessed. Um, could you clarify your actions after you witnessed that? I cried. I had to walk away and cry. Okay, um, did getting the police involved ever cross your mind? It pondered across my mind multiple times. I talked to the guys about it, and they said they didn't give a fuck. So I'm the only one hurting over my friend at the end of the day. To all right, so you witnessed your friend get murdered. Um, 
and you don't get the police involved. Could you, could you explain why you, you you say you know you were the only one mourning? Um, and I was you know, scared. I was scared. I was scared. I'm still scared. Okay. Um, you got people walking in with those gangster tattoos and the same chains on. Uh, you got you got the the same chains that you, I can't you, hear. You wore a uh, a chain, down correct? Down in the front room. I'm not you sitting inside that. Until I was that, robbed that of it. I'm not gonna lie, but you're gonna have to sit down. Okay. Um, and, and also you claim to be a stepper. Could you clarify what that means for the court? And take your bitch ass on somewhere, bro, so I can sit down. A stepper. Give me one second. I want to. I want to get the right fly. definition of my version of what what I define <laughs> myself as. All right. Please. So, like I said, mm -hmm. there you go. I, I didn't hear you say anything. I'm trying to leave, brother. My point. Okay. So you you you're refusing to answer the question. No, I answered. You're on. I asked the witness a question and he's not answering. No, I answered the question. He answered. What? What he was said, your what response? Is step? He said, "What I, is I didn't step? hear." Just repeat your response. Oh. It's okay. Just respond to. He asked you what a stepper was. We can move they're on. all individual in my line of work, sir. Oh, and right. what's That's... your line of work? Working for my boss at the time. Well, I'm, I'm asking what what kind what, of work did what, you whatever do? Du whatever duties he put on the table for us to make money, sir. I, are you on shout, Mr. Seymour? Yes, yeah, I yes, am. I hear him. I hear him. Okay. I, I, okay. I asked him. I asked him what his okay. line of work was, and he's saying whatever his, you know. And this is kind of drifting from the initial question because I asked him what a stepper for, and and I told you a man being thorough in any line of work. Okay, that's stepper. his answer. That's as far as he'd like to go. Um, Thank you. Okay. Um, you know, we have to... So, uh, so, yeah, I'll move have, on. I'll move on. Okay. Okay. Thank um, you. So, to address the statements that you made, you said that you sold drugs and killed people. So, is that the line of work that you're referencing? If I was advised to do so, yep. Okay. Um. So, you are an adult, you know, and you, you can <clears throat> make your own decisions. So how is, how are you accusing Leon and Dion of forcing you to commit act after act after act um, without any type of fight? So uh, when you get them off this case, you get money, right? What? You so work for them, the right? Technically? They're, they're, I'm defending them, yes. Technically, you work for them, right? What this got to do with the court case, bro? Can you answer my question, sir? This nigga asked the question? They're my clients, I'm defending bro, them. What the fuck? Just like you, answer, you answered my question, I answered your question. All right, so let's just say you work for them. So at the end of the day, you expect the fucking paycheck. So no what matter the fuck? what your boss say, you going to do so. No matter if you agree, this shit wild, bro. This is a circus. The goddamn flow at your job, you gonna mop the flow, cause your boss says so. This nigga, right or wrong, it don't you matter could, if you a grown up. You could quit. You 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 got bills at the end of the day. My grandma needed a headstone. She was the only. They was the only men to step up and say you broke as hell. Let me show you a way. And I followed the way. Also, so just to clarify, um, you're saying that with 
He don't even have to answer the questions. What type of EMS, soft ass nigga is this, um, bro? The salon, et cetera, working at a restaurant, committing murder and selling drugs was the only option you felt was acceptable. That's what they made it seem like. Because when I asked, can I please work at the barbershop? They said, dumbass nigga, you're going to be selling drugs. And this a fully grown fucking man, bro. What I did. This a fully grown man, bro. Tomorrow, what somebody made him do. And then, um, just also to address uh, your record. The lawyer, the bitch, um, dog. You have an attempted store robbery and. A Objection, your honor. Objection. And the prosecutors all ate that. Move, bitch. What the fuck? What does his list. past um, history have to do with anything? I'm scared of this right, shit. Character. We'll allow it. Go ahead. He hasn't proceeded with the question yet. It was just the fact that he was stating. Chat, bro. What we'll the? What's it. going on, bro? We just wanna move it along, you know. He talking about they Did made me do this. Around? If your boss take, oh, yes, nigga, if your boss tell you do something and it's uncivil, you gonna quit. Has it available? We don't want anyone. You do anything your boss tell you do. So your boss say, give me some heads. You gonna do it? And the lawyer just sitting there. What the on. fuck, man? You have an attempted store robbery and a brandishing of a class two charge. Um, in these charges, you are the only individual involved. Hey, Leah, uh, dog. Um, there's no other. What I done? This nigga said, whatever your boss said, you gotta you. do it. So if your boss say, um, give me some heads, you gonna do it? So, <laughs> what? That you were forced to <laughs> commit acts. That's what that nigga just said, bro. What the fuck? He told your boss. Yeah, shut the fuck, up, bro. He told why you got to do it. Be a, you wild as fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga, man? You wild as hell, <laughs> dog. I'm fucking crying. Oh, my God. Lead the fifth, sir. Lexi, you oh, hear this shit? Oh. This shit wild as hell, dog. Hey, Lexi, you hear Your this Honor, shit, dog? Can we request a recess, please? Please. I want a, a recess. Lexi, this shit yes, crazy. <laughs> we ain't got time for all this. Bro, that, that, that is for so the, crazy. For the prosecution? Yes, ma'am. This fully grown man is about what somebody made him do. Oh, okay. How long are you requesting? Uh, three Adult minutes. Adult male. Three minutes? Adult. Right, um, yes, ma'am. Three minutes. We will re resume. <laughs> At exactly big boy. forty four minutes after the hour. <laughs> Thank you, Honor. <laughs> oh <my laughs> you a big boy. <laughs> <as> hell, <laughs> dog. I'm crying, dog. Forty four minutes. Hey, lawyer, bro. Over here with this bald ass. Oh hey, lawyer. God. Next time you let somebody tell you they made me do this, you gonna piss me off, bro. This man sat there and said, "If your boss tell you to do this, you gotta do it." Like he not a fully grown man. He said what we told him he couldn't do, or like he ain't had no choice but do this. Like they ain't hiring at all these companies and businesses and jobs. Up here, that bro. man got a own free will. That's yeah. what I said. I said he got. You ain't say options. nothing. That's not I what you said, dude. Right That's not what you said, bro. You I said construction. I said working at a restaurant. I said you felt like that was the only acceptable option. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got to do more talking, bro. And then you letting this nigga ask you questions, fam. You here to ask the questions, bro. You not here to ask the questions. The judge is allowing it. I just go by what the judge said. Just judge. like she's, she's okay. doing the sections. I just take what she give me. I, I can't do, you know. You ain't got to take what she give you, though. Hey, check this out, bro. Go in the bathroom. Go in the bathroom. Watch some court cases, bro, and some lawyers, bro, and then come back and apply that shit, bro. Because right now, you letting them run all over top of you, gang. Our freedom on the line, my nigga. water on your face. You going home at the end. At the end of this shit, you going home, bro. You going so home at the end of this shit, bro. Our freedom on the line, my nigga. Weak ass bro, you need to go ahead. Anything. Hey, they haven't proven anything. They haven't proven anything. They ain't proved shit, but at the same time, you letting them say anything, bro. You got to get some fire behind you. I objected like 20 times. Bro, you supposed to object 50 times, bro. Man, I objected every time they said something that was wrong, was and she admitted it. She said she was gonna accept that objection. She said those. All right, bro. Just relax. Say your voice. Say your voice. For court. So um, that good as hell done. Your Honor. Yes, sir. Um, if I may, can I please see you in your chambers, please? Certainly. Thank Thank you. That bitch and said, Judge, you ain't looching me. Bailiff, where you at? Oh Lord. We ain't got we ain't got to do nothing to you. Come on. I ain't worried about that. He's supposed to be woke. He can't pay. 
so all they ass out there supposed to be woke. I'm gonna go on whisper because I really wanna ask you some serious questions. If you don't mind me asking, God, I'm not in here trying to sway you, persuade you in any way. I really just wanna know. You know what I'm saying? As a civilian of Los Santos and as a defendant in here in your courtroom, where do you think we stand right now? So you want a preliminary judgment? That's what I'm hearing. A little bit. I I kind of just I kind of just want to know. You want to know where my head is at, huh? I would love to know that, Judge. Uh, and this this ain't me coming. I'm waiting to, you. to see. I'm waiting to see where the defense is going about defending the fact that there's you're being accused of murdering Mr. Lucci. I haven't seen any evidence quite yet of a murder from the prosecution or anything that makes me believe you guys were involved in the murder. I just hear a lot of hearsay. So yeah. all the evidence they showed me, uh, it is building a case the saying that you are, you know, that you do it my that you do admire Grizzly Gardens or yeah. that you do love their chain. Yeah. Um I still haven't seen anything to tie you to any crimes. So I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, so, I just see a lot of standalone unsubstantial evidence. Yeah. And I will speak to the, the prosecutor and the defense about how they built the case after this. Yeah. But you and I both know how this works and yeah. uh, I haven't seen what I need to see to give me a, you know, a verdict beyond a reasonable doubt. No, for sure. And Your Honor, this is not me coming to you as a defense. This is me coming to you just human being to human being. You know what I'm saying? Now, our lawyer... He don't. He shouldn't have to prove that we didn't do it. We innocent to proven guilty. The burden of proof is on the state. They have to prove yes. without a doubt that we took this man's life or tried to take this man's life, which we did not. You know. And as far as us, are we not supposed to love where we come from? Are we not supposed to be proud of our home? You know, that's what's wrong and with the world today. You can get your defense attorney to let you come up on the stand and definitely speak to your character and speak to yeah. your defense. I think that would help your case because yeah. you're well-versed and you understand what's oh, going on. Yeah, so yeah. definitely, um, you know, get your attorney to let you speak and, and voice this. Uh, and that way the, def the prosecution can cross-examine and provide their evidence against what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so at this point, that's where I stand right now. I'm just trying to help this move along. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, well, whenever I'm gonna go talk to my lawyer about that. All right. Can you open this door, nosy neighbor? Hey, y'all go beat that bitch. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Go beat that What's happening now? Doug, get her in. What? Your lawyer. Damn, what's his name? Lawyer. <laughs> Damn, what's his name? Hey, we need to talk to you in the back, right quick. All right. Leon, Leon, slide with me right quick. Come over here. This way, lawyer. This way. Oh, shit. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you open this door, please? Thank you. Can you open this door, please? Uh, boss man, come open this door real quick, man. Damn, bro. You, Take that fucking earpiece out your fucking ear so you can hear. <laughs> Dumbass. We good, book him. Hey, lawyer. I we good. We good. Cause a motherfucker oh. could have jumped over that goddamn thing and and, and knocked me out, bro. You think my little taser gonna help me? Anyway, don't be going to sleep. Don't be going to sleep in my courtroom. Don't be going to sleep in my courtroom. Okay, okay, okay. So the walls, Hey, check it out. How you feel about putting us up on the stand? I ain't doing all that. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. I wouldn't, honestly, because then they might ask y'all some incriminating questions that you Bro, we know how this shit, bro. I know how this uh, shit go, bro. Put me on the stand, bro, because at the end of the no day. No cap net, brother. Don't come net. No cap net. Hell no. Nah, we ain't getting on no damn stand. Fuck that. This the thing. They talking about, they trying to prove, beyond, they trying to go their hardest to say, yeah. we gardens this, we gardens that. Like, okay, is we not supposed to be proud of where we come from? You feel me? That's what's wrong with the world today. Don't nobody give a fuck about where they from. That's why they burn it down, fuck it up, throw trash on the ground. We don't do none of that. We represent our community to the fullest. And we don't let just anything go down over there. You feel me? Lori, this is what the fuck you supposed to be saying. I wouldn't have to worry about getting on the stand. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He's supposed to be doing his job. We paying that nigga. Come on, bro. You supposed to talk, bro. Put your, put your thinking cap on. They doing the bitch ass right nigga. So now I'm doing the witness. Once we get you know through the evidence, when we had a final statement, I'm gonna bring up y'all's character. I'm gonna prove you know that y'all are innocent based on the lack of evidence. I know, it's but listen thing. though, listen though, they ain't prove shit, right? But they can they can talk themselves into a guilty verdict, bro. Don't it's let them talk themselves. 
into a guilty it's verdict, bro. Past the recess time. Now nah, look. Um, all the talking they doing, they talking they said uh, right out the we'll case because we here for attempt murder. The they talking about everything that but that. You feel me? So they talking in circles. You just make us look good out there. You hear me, bro? Don't be no fuck nigga, bro. Come on, man. Let's get it. I got it. I got it. For a motherfucker to get out your ass. You hear me, man? Hurry it up, man. Bro, open the door, bro. You ugly right, pussy ass. Man. Open the door for yourself. Okay. Did he just spit on me? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm about to see that little birdie. What are you talking about? Sit your ass down. <laughs> Court is now in session, right? That's between you and my sister. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you talking about, you talking about right, the other sister. Can system. we have Mr. Yeah. Seymour back to the stand so oh. to proceed with the questioning? Thank you. I thought that we were going to talk. All right, defense, you can proceed with your line of questioning. Oh, yeah. Ain't nothing light over here. We got big straps, heavy Thanks. check. Girl, he almost killed us in the whip. She got some deadly Hold neck. On. Dog say we beefing. He just talking with his petty right, ass. Right. Catch him on traffic. Get to tossing at his scary What's ass. Up? We ain't stopping shit. They hit them lights and we going to scratch off. Fuck, I look like letting you put me over in this track. Okay. I see chain playing watch. Tipper short, bag long. In the trenches, strikers out. Fully on me. Mask yeah. on. Niggas can't come around the guys no more. Fuck. Niggas can't get pieces of our pies no more. I ain't saving niggas' lives, sparing niggas' wives, giving none of these pussy ass niggas' pies no more.